you know how some old car designs are kept in production in developing nations many years after they're discontinued in Western markets? For example, the original rear-engine, air-cooled Volkswagen Beetle, which was manufactured in Mexico for 25 years after production ended in Germany. Well, I was hoping the same would be true with radios. Because many of the radios these days that are manufactured in China, even though they have what looks like an analog tuning dial, they're actually based on a digital signal processor. So when you tune this dial, it's actually just telling that digital chip in it to retune itself to whatever frequency you're tuning it to. And because the refresh rate of that system is not instantaneous, you get an annoying choppiness when tuning across the dial. So I was hoping somewhere in the world they're still making true analog radios just like they used to make back in the 80s and 90s where you get perfectly smooth tuning across the dial. So with that in mind, I found these two radios you see here. First is this Panasonic RF 562 DD2, their so-called retro design radio, made in Indonesia. And this 5-core T22 radio made in India. First, let's look at this Panasonic radio. It comes with this nice brown vinyl carrying case which you can unsnap and remove. And if you take the radio out, it has a chrome finish grill and knobs on the front. So indeed, it's a rather late 1960s, early 1970s kind of design aesthetic. It does come with a carrying strap as well, which would attach here and here. It covers AM, FM, and shortwave from 6 to 18 megahertz. It claims to have a big speaker. On the side it has a mono earphone jack and a 3.6 volt DC power input. On the back is the band switch which is a rather inconvenient location for it. And it runs on two D-cell batteries. And there you can see, made in Indonesia. And you can tell this is not primarily meant for Western markets because the only two languages on the box are English and Arabic. So, is this a true analog radio? Let's turn it on and find out. Teachers who are reinventing the classroom and starting their students. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm hearing that telltale choppiness as I tune across the dial. So I'm afraid this is also based on a digital signal processor chip. It is not a true analog radio. And also this so-called big speaker doesn't really sound that good. It's rather shrill and tinny and there's no tone control to improve it. Now I switch over to AM and it still has the same choppiness as you tune. Pretty slow. Lincoln and Holland themselves are fine. Into the city via the Holland, you want the Skyway. Yeah, we haven't said that all day. But... And it has a very rough and scratchy sound on AM. That almost sounds like digital aliasing. It's like the kind of sound I used to get when I would record audio on my old Sound Blaster card at a very low sampling rate. So clearly that's another artifact of the digital signal processor chip in this thing. So unfortunately I think this Panasonic retro design radio is a fail. It looks nice, the build quality seems decent, but it has that annoying digital tuner choppiness to it. And although the AM reception is pretty good, it has that aliasing effect, which makes it very unpleasant to listen to. So unfortunately, I cannot recommend this radio. And also, I don't know what Amazon was thinking, because they shipped it to me in this box. They just slapped a shipping label on it. They didn't even seal the flap. They just send it to me like this in the mail, and somehow it arrived in one piece. And that leaves this 5-core radio, whose box somehow got smushed, even though it was shipped in an outer box, which was not damaged. But this is the Pro Series 5-core Sound of India multiband portable radio, model T22, with FM, 
AM, also known as medium wave and short wave, established since 1984 and certified by electronics engineers. And they even promote yoga on the box. It says yoga for harmony and peace, made in India. Claiming the heights of quality, performance, trust, and reliability. Claims to have a high range antenna with high sensitivity. And it's more the size that I was expecting the Panasonic to be with its claim of having a big speaker. But it's quite a bit smaller than the 5 core radio. And the first thing I notice is the low quality of the plastics they use to make this. You can see the handle's not even put on straight and it has loose flashing at the edges. Looks like there's bubbles in the finish here. Overall just a cheap, cheap feeling radio. And it was originally designed to have an AC 220 volt and a DC 4.5 volt input, but neither of them are provided. They're just knockout plugs. So you can only run this on batteries. It runs on two D cell batteries. Looks like it might have originally run on three, but for some reason now they only use two. And there near the band switch, which is also on the back on this one, you can see the low quality of the plastic moldings. But it was okay tested, and they're proud of their ISO 9001 certification with this sticker here. Nonetheless, maybe its reception and sound quality will exceed my expectations based on the quality of its cabinet. So let's give it a try. It has a nice clicky power switch on the volume control. More at melvilletrust.org. And your part-time controller, specialists in nonprofit accounting, committed to hiring experienced full and part-time accountants and controllers working from home and at offices. This is WNYC, FM, HD, and AM New York. So the radio sounds very good on FM, very nice, rich sound. It's not shrill and tinny like that Panasonic radio. But let's try tuning, see if this is a true analog tuner. President Biden called his mask. Yes, no choppiness. This is a true analog radio tuner. getting the classical music station perfectly clear and that's not even with the FM antenna extended so very good reception on FM very good sound quality even though it doesn't have a tone control so the FM works very well let's try AM or medium wave. Mike King, WDBZ's 24-hour traffic network. Thank you, my friend. The forecast coming up in 15 seconds. Next day molding doors and stairs. Serving Boston area builders with interior millwork is open there. And it sounds excellent on AM as well. And since it's appropriate, here's our local Indian music station being played on this Indian-made radio. <laughs> Just listen to how this digital tuner tunes in this weaker AM signal. Now compare it to this true analog tuner. I think that proves it right there that the analog tuner is better than the digital tuner. I discovered that the shortwave works a lot better if you leave the antenna folded up. So it's not like other radios where it uses this as a shortwave antenna. I think it's only using the internal ferrite coil antenna for shortwave. <laughs> So the shortwave reception is not that great, only really picks up the stronger signals and the tuning is rather touchy because it doesn't have fine tuning. And it's four milliliters. Well, what's that? If you look at your finger from the, 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 the first two knuckles out, it's a, it's a little bitty small bottle about that big. Now, why? 
But if you can get a signal tuned in on shortwave, it sounds pretty good. Ten, nine, eight, seven. And I looked on YouTube and nobody has reviewed one of these before. So this is the very first review of one of these Indian made 5 core analog radios. And I think they do have a right to be proud of their Indian made incredible sound radio. Even though the quality of their plastic moldings could certainly use improvement. And if you want one of these 5 core radios you can get them on eBay. They cost about $25 with free shipping from a US seller. Yeah. 